does it say that because he rose on the first day of the week, that that should replace God's Sabbath because God says, I am the Lord, I change not. This text just points out six day Friday, seventh day Saturday, first day Sunday. Remember the seventh day Sabbath, Saturday to keep it holy. So somebody says, Pastor Bird, that's clear. That's clear. I cannot debate that from scripture. That is clear. But then they say, what difference does a day make? Well, let me answer your question to a, with another question. I'm sure we could ask Adam and Eve, what difference does fruit make? God said, don't eat it. Don't touch it, lest you die. God rested on the seventh day. Why he chose the seventh day? That's his business. He's God. But God is a God of specifics. What difference does fruit make? Let's ask Cain and Abel, what difference does a sacrifice make? God is a God of specifics. And we like to say in the Christian community, well, God didn't accept Cain's offering because it was not Cain's best. That's not true. God didn't accept Cain's offering because Cain did not give God what God asked for. God asked for a lamb because remember, there could be no sacrifice without the shedding of what? Blood. Cain brought his best fruit best grains and vegetables. I'm sure it looked good. It probably tasted good. But God couldn't accept it because it was not what God asked for. That's right. Well, pastor, my ministry, my church is good. The choir sings good. The preacher preaches good. The fellowship is real good. And it just might be. But you got to give God what God asks for. What difference does a day make? All I know is God said it, and that settles it.